hello you guys welcome to zanji does if this is your first time on my channel um i usually have a mic number one and i'm just using my phone today because listen if you're a content creator who has a full-time job sometimes you just have to squeeze things in the best way you can and this is my quickest solution it all sounds the same babes this is your first time here i post hair videos hair content and life advice and life of you know living your 20s content if you will so i always say if this is your first time here remember to stick to the end of the video i always say this is your first time seeing a youtuber don't just judge based off of two seconds you see watch the video the whole way see what they have to offer and then after if you're like i'm not really feeling the home girl or homeboy give it a like and i know you're like why would i give your video a like if i don't really like what you did i'm saying give it a like because that does help push the video itself to people who actually want to see this stuff you guys know you've probably heard your favorite content creator say um that the algorithm they just push out whatever or sometimes they'll throw random videos here and there just push out my video you know what i'm saying let's help it get to the right people you probably just saw this randomly on your page hopefully you like what you saw today and let's get started so today's video is gonna be about um listen here and there i get creative sometimes i won't lie you know art major or whatever um but for today's video i have this really random idea i love different milk alternatives cashew milk almond milk um oat milk i love all of those right so listen if you're like me and you spend a lot of time on tiktok you will see you, maybe it's just my fyp for you page i'm always getting cute little recipes and stuff and i'm always down for the the try the attempt whatever this guy i'll put his name on the screen i don't have everyone's usernames remembered but he posted this super easy raw almond milk recipe and literally all you have to do is soak the almonds over now you know i'll get to that in a minute anyways i had this crazy idea where i was like you know we always see like homemade hair masks or we see um homemade hair rinses and all of that and i was like why has no one ever done an almond milk hair rinse like people have done rosemary tea um not chia seeds what's it called um flaxseed gel like people get creative these days in their hair right and i was like i have not seen anyone do this so um actually there is one woman i kind of saw she kind of did it but not like in her own kind of unique way and i'm gonna link her on the screen as well because you know what we give credit here where it's due but that is what i'm doing today so i'm gonna be making raw almond milk raw almond milk and using that as a rinse in my hair i decided that you know there's so many benefits from almonds themselves and then obviously when you drink almond milk there's benefits too um even more so when you drink them drink the almond milk like homemade raw and stuff and i just thought well how would that like would it impact hair in any way could it be something good for hair you know what i'm saying so i was like you know what f it let's just try it and see what happens so here's what i when i said okay well there's probably like some good that comes out of it right so i said let me actually research this and see what i find to get the facts right so here's what i found about um here's what we found about actual raw almond milk right not the one at the store the ones you probably see they're just bomb still but here's the actual benefits of raw almond milk it has vitamin d it has vitamin C. It has vitamin E. It helps with heart health. It keeps skin glowing. And that's just to name a few that I found, right? So what do we know that almonds themselves can do to hair? Apparently, listen, I, I haven't clocked myself yet online, but you know what? I got to just admit it. Um, your girl has some grays. I'm 24 and I have some grays. And I'm, when I'm saying I have some, I don't mean just cute two little ones. I have like seven at this point. You probably can't see them. You probably can. You probably just think it's cat hair. No, babes, it's it's great um but apparently almonds prevent early graying so i was like sign me up <laughs> it helps with dandruff which your girl could use a little help with that here and there it reduces hair loss it enhances hair thickness which i really don't need um but it's good to know right for the girlies that need it and it seals nutrients into the hair and after that i was like girl i'm sold like honestly they had me sold with the graying but I'm sold. Let's give it a try. That after I researched all that, I was like, I'm doing it. 
me like it's sealed period so that one youtuber um that i mentioned i don't know if i said she's a youtuber but she was a youtuber i looked all over the internet if i skipped you please comment down below if you have a content creator that you watch and you was like no i i saw them do this too please comment down below and let me know but the only person that i saw do this they babe i think that's how you pronounce it. i'm gonna put her youtube on the screen um she made like this uh, i kind of skimmed through the video because like i said i don't have enough time in the day sometimes she kind of made this um leave-in i think she made um like this product and it was really nice like it was really cool i don't have enough time to make that product but you could tell like she put a lot of heart soul and thought into it and i really love when people get creative so shout out to her um because i do want to credit her i feel like she deserves her coins and her her um applauses because she did do something with almond milk for hair before me and i don't know anyone else so if there's anyone else you've seen do this please comment down below and let me know how i made the raw milk um i followed like i said this gentleman here on the screen i followed his um recipe recipe so he basically i'll put the link to the actual tiktok i think i should do that instead because i don't want to say it like verbatim or mess anything up but basically i had a couple of almonds that were raw and salted soak them overnight and i basically have a small blender i have a small blender so i kind of have to make it work and do it in parts but i have a clip for you guys to show you the whole process because it was just so fun to me listen i'm gonna keep making that milk because it was so easy to make like i really recommend you guys try it and do it yourselves as well But yeah, simply overnight soaked, blended, strained. And just the FYI, it does spoil after four days. Trust me, don't even try to. Don't even try to do a whole week. I did taste it after day four because I was like, you know, some people have different um, refrigerator temps and different thoughts and ideas on it. Listen, don't even play. Like after the day four, literally after day three, don't even play. Like I tried it and I was just like, oh, that's disgusting. And I had to use a mason jar. So mind you. But it smelled so good. It smelled delicious. It smelled like yummy almonds. Um, and it was so easy to make. Like, I loved making that. So how I decided to go about this rinse was I first shampooed my hair. And then once I rinsed the shampoo out, I used my milk rinse and I waited 10 minutes for it to settle in. I gave it a nice 10 minutes. After the 10 minutes, I rinsed it out. 
as you can see before the rinse my hair was very frizzy to begin with um it is the summertime so my frizz is at an all-time high right now so i wanted to see if the almond milk would help with the frizz and reducing that after i left the milk in for 10 minutes and i rinsed it out then i followed with my conditioner After the conditioner, you know, I styled my hair as usual and I waited for the results. So as you can see, guys, this is actually my results clip. So this is how it's looking. And let me just say, girl, I can't see because my defender is so freaking little, but I it's giving very shiny. I'm going to walk up to the camera in a second, but it left my hair super shiny, which, yes, I definitely think it helped with the dry sections. Of course, it's the summer, so I know it's not like a, a magic um fix you know for everything you know <laughs> i will i will say the grays are still here so <laughs> but definitely it's giving no dandruff this is actually day two hair so it's giving no dandruff that's usually when i see the the dandruff and all that start caking up and all that um it's giving no dandruff and it's giving that it did work so i love that so would i recommend you doing this yes i do if you see the proof right here in the pudding what do you think would you give this a try i say you should um do I think this is particular to any curl type? I'm not too sure. So, of course, what works for me might not work for you. And I always want to emphasize that in my videos. I don't know if I did it in the past, but I want to do that. Moving forward, um, again, I would categorize my hair as 3B, 3C. If you want to watch my other videos on how I categorize my hair, hair porosity, all of those things, that's very important when classifying your hair. I don't remember what my por porosity is at this moment, but... 3b 3c vibes is what i'm feeling like i said i would try it out i'd even just try to make almond milk for your cereal and whatever else you use it for because girl was so easy to make and i had so much fun don't forget to follow old girl you know the one that made the product in the first hand because i loved her little video it was so cute and you guys should just support other curly haired content makers or hair content creators also watch and follow the gentleman that made the almond milk recipe you know shout outs to him because we wouldn't be here without him and comment down below is there anything you haven't seen a youtuber do before like someone who does curly hair content is there a rinse you want me to maybe try out is there something that you've had in mind but you're scared to try i have had thoughts of like trying certain fruits i mean you know the usual the avocado um egg whites and stuff people always do that but like strawberries like what do you guys have in mind please let me know <clears throat> it's the scratchy voice for me please let me know i hope you guys like this video and i hope you can see the proof in the pudding girl and i hope you give this a try let me know down below if you do give this a try follow me on all my socials too i'm gonna put them on the screen i can always be found there i'm most active on tiktok and instagram i'm trying with the youtube girl <laughs> i'm trying my best but yes guys this is how it looks and i'm gonna go up close and don't forget to like the video if you did like it or if you would prefer to push this to somebody else. Don't forget to subscribe if you did like my content and you're trying to binge me after this video. And um, yeah, guys, I can't thank you enough for watching. I always appreciate when you come watch my videos and I will see you in the next one. And don't forget to comment down below what you want me to try out because I will. I will give it a try. All right. Bye.